Alright guys, good evening, morning, and or afternoon, and welcome back. This is now the Ariel weekly recap kind of thing, and I'm once again joined by Full Metal. Hello! And uh, Steak Sauce. The sauciest man around. The sauciest man around. You love them, you know them, you want to put them all over your food. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Well. Or vice versa if you're into that. <laughs> oh. So, uh... We're starting at the the bottom. We're gonna work our way up again. We got um, div three of the uh, the REL. Where do you guys want to start? Who do you want to talk about? I want to start about we're revolutionary. All right, let's do it. Is this homies? I'm that they're doing pretty good. They got they got a decent size. Um, I like the names. TV. I like the guard. I don't like that. Well, I don't care about the line with AG two because again, he's line fodder. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's developing nicely. I don't agree necessarily with block on the... Unless you're using the thrower as the ball carrier, which makes sense with the Shirans, but the low movement hurts. Uh, I don't necessarily think the throw with block is, is the way forward. I would have much preferred to see leader there or something for volume. Early on, early on I just... I don't think it's a bad idea. I, do know, I just, gonna be I just think carrying. leader is so good. Yeah, it looks like they took a loss, though, in their first match, a 2-1 against Rats. Tough matchup. Oh, Rats. <laughs> yeah, Rats. Rats are hard. Which rat did they run? All Rats. No, which rat? All Rats. All Rats. Who's on first? I think they put the hurt on them, though, dude. Let's, they're down to 920. let's go take a look-see-poo. Let's go, let's go hop on over there. Uh, I see the problem. They've got a niggled storm vermin. That's that's a real bad spot to be in. Oh yeah, they that's... didn't get much winnings either. They actually won and didn't get much winnings. That that feels terrible. I was gonna say the win doesn't look like it was a giant win because. And MVP went to a line rat. Yeah, not a whole lot of SPP. Spread didn't, didn't keep the touchdowns on the same runners, which you know may be hard to do, but certainly hurts the team as a whole. If you could get both mm. those touchdowns on one runner, having a level two runner in one game is is really good. good. He needs the money. I bet you was hoping to buy an apothecary after this game too. Yeah, yeah. And now he doesn't have the money for it. That's why I feel bad about the whole, you know, only having thirty k after a two one win. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's rough. Ooh we, ooh we, that's rough. All right, let's go. Uh, let's look at uh, our favorite Spoonie Bards team uh, with uh, Bardic. These are doing good, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They got named as one of the best players. Actually, they had one of the of the players to watch out for in one of Harry's old videos. Yang? I, I'm gonna uh, assume so. Yeah, they the strength four strength four blodge blitzer after like the first. They've had obviously the full spin games, and they've absolutely maximized it. He is just eating SPP. Currently mm -hmm. undefeated across across five games, so that's huge. Yeah. Who'd, uh, who'd they play? They played um, RFL Hate Me. They did indeed. They did. Took uh, a one zero. Let's go hop over and let's go pop around and see them. One zero. It's yeah. not keeping what else to or sorry, Dark Elves. Dark Elves. What is he? He's Dark Elves. Isn't he? Yeah, he's Dark Elves. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keeping him just one score is pretty dang good with a fresh. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not going to disagree. And he's got to level up on a ghoul, waiting for him. Which is annoying. Again. Roll it, goddammit. Yeah. Get your blodge, get your guard. We know it's going to be one of those. Do it. Yeah, it, it, there's, there's only two ways, unless it's the start, in which case maybe the start is, is a question. But then again, is it a question? Because strength is obviously a no-brainer. And agility is a no-brainer. Agility is a no-brainer. So, I just, this is how I don't I see like... a level 2 ghoul being ever a question. Agreed. This is how I like an undead team built, though. One skeleton... He's got the three ghouls. Yeah, you're very particular with your undead. You know, you've, you've, got, you've got a build in, uh, in, in mind there for your undead, and you've been very I just, it's, it's This is the build I like. You get the three ghouls, you got the one skeleton as your safety, you're good to go. As I say, I think you you approach it the same way I approach rats, and you've got that build that you like, and like the rat ogre we just looked at from that team, from the rat, all rats, they've got a rat ogre, and I just, I'm just like, no, oh, why have you got a rat ogre? No, stop with the rat ogre, please. Well, I like it. I know you like it. I know one of your favorite teams in this division, uh, Metal, is the Legion of Frank. So let's take yeah, a look at it. Yeah, boys. They're the Legion of Frank, man. They've got a big, they've got a big hunk of burn of meat as the, as the team. Uh, I love the uh, the David Ryder names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually, 
you know, commented on, on our last week's video saying he, you know, he didn't, he couldn't believe how we didn't comment on on where on the origins of them. So I was like, I, I, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't know this. It's an MSP3K special. Yeah, dude, I, I wasn't aware of this as being a thing. I'm not a huge YouTuber, but I still just love the fact that you know, just everything else about the team. I'm, I'm really sad to see he didn't use the best David Ryder name though, which is Big Mick Large Huge. Are you sure he's not saving that for the troll? I was gonna say. I really hope he doesn't get a troll. Black Orc, but, Big McLarge Huge. But if he does get a troll, Big McLarge Huge is the name. I don't know. I, I just love the names. I think. I think it's you know double double mighty blow blitzer guard blitzer. Um, block on a thrower. Block on black. Stop blitz. with the block on the thrower, man. He's, actually, he's got fourteen rerolls, which seems insane to me. Seems excessive. <laughs> Let's see how he did on yeah. his last match. He won, took I, a win. Yeah, but at the same time, I would just very much like to have seen that big three team rerolls and a leader. Yeah, because it would have been cheaper. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's I don't... I'm very I'm very kind of my mind works towards quitting TV wherever possible, um, as you probably know from my my you know, rants about line rats. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're trimming TV wherever you can, man. With four rerolls, though, the block does seem excessive on the thrower. I clicked on our team. As I said, if you want four, he could have took leader and had three team rerolls. Yeah, three team rerolls. He, play? he uh, a comical on a map here, which is the one we're moving to next, which is Rumblebee's team. Yep. Also, beautiful, great beautiful name. jerseys. The name Mo is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they've mighty got blow. A, uh, yeah, they've got mighty blow white. They've got a block mummy, which is super good. Yeah, it is super uh, good, and uh, agility up. Yeah, I, yeah. On the this ghoul. is uh, building out really, really well. Yeah, actually. Mighty Blows, first that what I get on my whites. Add you four on a ghoul. So what you're saying right now is, is you approve? I very much approve. <laughs> this The block on the mummy is huge. And you hear that, Rumblebee? You have safe seal of approval. You can you can put you can put that like the best. Don't put sauce. much stake in that. It's not like ah, I'm a don't great put code. much stake in that from sauce. <laughs> <laughs> put a ah, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting for that all it. day. We, we didn't we didn't say it. You said it. He lost. Yeah. Yeah, but he oh. lost to Legion of Frank. So yeah. I expect good things from uh, Rumblebee. With yeah, as team. long as he's not as long as, long as he's not playing Dirk Hardpeck in the lads, yeah, sure, sure. But he's playing Dirk Hardpeck in the lads, so that's the thing. Damn, uh, that's why he lost. RFL hit me. Uh, doing it again. You're doing it again. We just covered that team. You're blocking your guard. They're doing it this well. They're doing it again. I don't care. I'm, I'm mentioning it because it, it it annoys me that much. I'm going to go back and tell tell you. We may have looked at you once. I'm going to give you a second shout out. For fucking leveling up your goals. Ah. God damn. Uh, All right, let's go take a look at Fruity Kisses. Do you, you want to do that? Because I think, you know, do you get arrested for that kind of shit? I don't think uh, so. That's, that's ignorant. <laughs> don't be ignorant. No. Two. No, that's ignorant. Two mismatch games. That, that hurts. That's I mean, the one on the blitz that hurts. Linemen, meh. In all fairness, you know, they're not a dead team. They're oh. nothing firm, nothing serious. You know, they're going to they're gonna survive. They're going to come back and fight they another bit. They need um, blitzer SPP, though. Mm -hmm. Who are they playing? They're going to 1-1 against Booze Cruise, who, by the way, are another team with great stuff coming out on the Reddit. I don't know if you guys caught this. I know Gambi is busy, but there's, they've got a story, dude. They, yeah, they got a story, man. That story got deep real quick. <laughs> I will, I will have to check that out. If you haven't as well, I would also recommend you go to the uh, the Reddit and and look yeah, look they, you over. I say, I think they're gonna have a, a tough second week going in with with two guys down. They got two loners, which you know is not too bad when it's a line, but it is bad when it's a blitz. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if we look at the booze crews. They're not in a super great position either because they got some SPP but no level ups. Yeah, but they got a story, man. Man, they man, man. They do have a story. story. They do have a story. Story in your heart means wins on the board. Pastafarians, I watched their match. It was knockout central. I'm thinking oh, really? of that one. Uh, I did not see well, Pastafarians. They're Norse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pastafarians yeah. versus who did they play this week? They, 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 that Steve. could probably explain why they got no damn yes. uh, SPP level ups there. Two rerolls is so ballsy with Nos. I don't, I don't understand how you do that. I just, it, I it was know. knockout central if you even watched that game. Okay, well maybe, maybe worth. I think it's actually on there, so you know it certainly is. I, I love the fact that there's so much content coming out, so it doesn't mean you know we don't feel bad then for not covering games that could be great when you can actually just you know go watch. Because they happen, they have been covered. I'm really. Boy. Uh, the videos that come out with 
the coach's commentary while they're playing. I believe this one was a recast by the coach that played. And yeah, he forgot to hey. stream it live or something and ended up going back over it and playing his replay down. Which is, you know, a way to get it out there. Yeah. No, it was yeah. great. He did, he did a great job. Really Guys, nice. if you want to put your content out in the world, you know, we are more than happy with that. Yeah, and I try to keep it all up on the side, uh, little side table, table, tablet, whatever it is. Oh, uh, I just what? put the NBA jams in the upset. Why? Why? Because look, look how neat and tidy it is. And then, da, 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 and then there's a blocker at the end. Ah, uh, uh, NBA jams. Switch it. Switch it. <laughs> but right. no, no skill ups. Pretty vanilla. Two tier rules. No apothecary. They've got money for an apothecary, which I think. I would highly advise because you cannot afford to lose a knight. No. Even Agreed. even rookie knights are 110k TV. Especially with all the SPP being on them. Gold, sorry, yeah. They, they, there's three of them prepped to level. Well, sorry, two of them prepped to level with a four and a five. One of them with two SPP. Um, you really it's got to look after those game, though. It's yeah, a good first game to get all your SPP on your knights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and one one versus Cheeseburger Eddie, which is another great name. Yeah. I, I love how he's coaching them. Oh god, they they got hurt though. They, they took Cheeseburger already took a hit. Let me hop over well, and take a look. I, I feel sad. Cheeseburger anyway. Uh, movement lineman. Ooh, armor value catcher. Ooh. The easy one of the easiest players to kill in the entire game because he's got strength two and a hit and AV seven and then. Now he's a little he's easier. AV six. Yeah, that's. that's he's retired. Down. But they don't even have enough for an apple after that first game. It's Even rough. if it was a 1-1 draw, that's, that's a rough deal. I mean, you don't care so much about the lineman. The lineman's whatever, dude. But the, uh, losing the catch like that, that, that hurts. I'm loving all the breath we're seeing this season. You think, you think they're gonna, you think they're gonna 86 them, though? Uh, I, you have to deep six them. Not, uh, not until he gets more money. That's true. But are you really gonna ever rely on an AV6 catcher? I, I just, I just don't think... I don't see... think you'd rely on him, but he, he doesn't even have... He doesn't have I an apple like, yet. I He's still low on money. I, yeah, I suppose you can keep him for the one turn attempt and just keep him back, but he's gonna die hard. He is. Or try. I, I say natural selection. Let natural selection take its its course and Speaking get Speaking about dying, um, we've got uh, uh, this is this is a nice this is a nice scaven build. Um, the vectors. The vectors. Is this is how I build a starting scaven? Now I know a bit more about scaven. Miss next game on the thrower is whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, well, they went for the double storm vermin, four gut runners, uh, three rerolls, no apple, no bench though, which is hurting them because the throws down and the lineman's down. So they've got no, you know, they're gonna have to set a gut runner to pick up the ball, but they've got a decent spread of SPP, huge MVP out on the, uh, the storm vermin, which is the, just the value pieces you need to get leveled as, as far as uh, scaven go. They're one of the hardest players to level because they really don't get the touchdowns. They only get well, your gutter runners are gonna get the SPP naturally. Oh yeah. yeah. But that's why, as I said, it's, for me, getting those um, Storm Vermin leveled up is massive. So, so seeing an MVP from the first game go out to that guy. Yeah, so super helpful. All he needs now is a Vanity Pass and bam. True story. Oh, true story. Apparently, which is, you know, you're anyways. I don't even think he cares that much about getting to uh, loner linemen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's what it is, you know. It's not a big deal. Uh, he's got some cash. I think he could buy out. Probably save it because you're going to get loaners anywhere. Save it for next game and then buy your bench. Next okay. game, would yeah. Be my choice, because there's no point buying your own lineman to, do to risk him dying when you're going to get loaners. You can throw at them. Wait till you know, the line. Wait till the throw gets comes back and then buy out a couple of linemen at once. Maybe grab two or three, depending on how much money you get. Um, but you'd have to probably only get two though, to be fair. But yeah, still, you know, a couple extra linemen, fill in the gap, get yourself up to bench twelve, hopefully, and you're really kind of on on the right path. Indeed, and indeed. We, Let's move over to uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah. Completely base, built, necromantic team, no levels up, two reroll. It's again the necro. for me the the way I build necro. Some people like it got a, a ghoul early, and I'm just like no. no I just you want you want the SPP on the werewolves. Yeah, you you don't need the you don't want the ghouls to get touchdowns because I I just feel like ghouls are touchdown hogs because they've got dodge naturally, so you tend to rely on them as ball carriers, and it's like. Yeah, that's that's good enough, but you know, you really want to get your, your werewolves developed, especially because you're probably cycling them at sixteen or twenty one FPP. Sorry, sixteen or thirty one FPP. Probably sixteen. All the uh, all the opinions I have on undead do not extend to necro. 
<laughs> I, I, I tried Necro this week and got pitch cleared in my first game, so... Damn. Ooh. How? Uh, failed to pick up the ball ones. constantly and just got beat on and then just got fouled out. Oh, that's upset. It was it was an immediate. I got a dead werewolf. It was uh, it was gone, and I decided never touching necro again. <laughs> Rip that team. Damn. Final team. Final team is another necro team. Slightly not vanilla. Slightly not vanilla. In that they grabbed a uh, kick. <laughs> nice. I like kick though. That's yeah, to be fair. No, I love kick. I, I think kick is brilliant. It's one of the most underrated skills in Blood Bowl. Um, if you've I got think... a zombie that's gonna level up before everybody else, kick lets the werewolves do work with a lot of speed. Yeah. And also, you know, it lets you control of the match a little bit more. You're against, you know, you've got a dwarf team there, so you know you can really control the pitch against a dwarf team. Uh, Norse aren't super fast. Uh, humans are on the average speed. Orcs aren't particularly fast. You know, undeads, other than werewolves, are not particularly fast. So, you know, as like long as, yeah, you can really kind of force the undead to set quite deep, which brings their werewolves out of the out of puts their claw away. Yeah, it's, it's a good situation. I think out of all the level ups a zombie could have gotten for the first one, that's probably got the most team value, like the value for the team. Unless it's guard. Yeah. Obviously. And guard. Yeah. Guard, yeah. Rolling doubles would have been a big one on that. And they, they but took... But it's, it's, it's a single, yeah. He did the right way. Yeah, and he took a win off the first game, so he, he, he's, he's doing alright so far. Um, So that takes us, that's it for Div 3. That means we could jump up to Div 2. Well, we gotta look at the schedule. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I was getting ahead of myself. I was getting excited. Looking for the, the, the standouts. All right. Well, what have we got here? We've got uh, Steve versus Wildside. Yep. Who's Cruz versus Cheeseburger Eddie, which is, I think, a really rough matchup for Cheeseburger Eddie. Oh, right yeah, now. especially after taking losses already. Uh, the Booze Cruz is gonna be just put and hurt. That would be the team you wanted to see late in the season where you've actually got some blodge and you can kind of run around them a little bit and. Yeah. You don't want to see dwarves with a rough... I mean, you can probably win, because you're a lot faster than them, you'll run in circles around them, but you're if they get older, them. they're gonna... Yeah, you're gonna pay the price. Yeah. Um, Rare Revolutionary gets to play more rats, so we'll see if he, uh... If he is prepared this time for some rats, and, uh, see if he Different, can pull a W. Rats, this is actually the... He's not gonna get out strength this time, with, you know, because of the lack of a rat ogre, but he's certainly got four governors to deal with this time. And, and no tackle. And no tackle. Well, that's gonna make it rough. That's gonna make it rough. If uh, the rat team plays it smart, they'll be able to. They might be able to score up a lot of touchdowns. Austin versus the Legion of Frank. Let's face it. We just want the Legion of Frank to do well because of the name. So it's you know we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll leave that there and move on. Norse against Orc is just a hard matchup. That is. Artic Fantastic Fantastic Four versus NBA Jams. That that for me, uh, I don't see a world in which this bread team can a vanilla bread team. Put uh, uh, the brakes on Spoody Bards win streak right now. Yeah, yeah. I I'm think... expecting huge. You know, I, I'm not trying to talk down the the, the coaches of this division, I, but I am expecting huge things from Spoody. Yeah, yeah. I, I... Agree. He's, he's five game win streak so far. Dude. He's let's see potential. if let's see if it holds up though. Nuffo can be a wild mistress. Uh, well, I'm thinking it'd be interesting. He's got. I'll, I'll, put, it in, I'll, I'll put it another way. If. Uh, if he doesn't do well after a five-game win streak this season, I'm probably going to give him my wooden spoon award. I'm, I'm warning him now. Ooh. 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 I expect him to do good things. Yeah, agreed. Um, Especially with not a lot of tackle. Yeah, not a lot of no tackle, bad. and also having the extra strength is really going to help. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, uh, Div 2? Yeah. Shall we yeah. saunter that one? Let us, let us saunter. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna instantly the grimace this. elves. Before we even look at that, there's been three oh. huge scoring matches. Necronomics get a three 0 against Leech's Boneyard. Physics Benders are a three one against the Pokershaw Penitentiaries. And AKG four four zero against too many devs. AKG are actually super scary as well. If you look at this guy, they've got you know a, a re a, from what I remember, they've got a really Ooh. nice team. An Agi Werewolf. A guard white and a block flesh golem. So it's like they haven't had that many level ups, but they've used them really well. Yeah, AG AG werewolf's the dream right there. That's that's beast. Yeah, that's 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 dirty. Four yeah, oh. Damn. That's. I expect three of them were from kill the arch enemy. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. See that. 
<laughs> That's rough. They've done well. They, they, they had his, look at his, his But you know who this is? You know who this is, Donnie? This is Haunted Cricket. AKG is Horny Cricket? Yes, sir. Sorry, Necronomics is no. Horny Cricket, sorry. I do yeah. apologize. AKG is Warboss Zodgrok, who was our latest, one of, one of our latecomers to the, to the league. He was one of the last Real Coach to accept his ticket. Maybe he'll uh, sand do it. Ooh. Yeah, I, it's a possibility. But he has been chased by, as I said, the other Necro Coach here, which is Horny. Sorry, I apologize for, for mixing and matching there, but <laughs> this is an interesting team line. You went 3 One down. Werewolf. One werewolf, one ghoul. I don't like that. Got a touchdown on a white. I don't like the build, but he certainly made it work for him when he took a 3 0 over Legion Boneyards. I'm not. Horny knows what he's doing. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I would. Argue. I, exactly, that's how I feel about it. He's, uh. He's got he's a this. Super Bowl winner, isn't he? Oh, look, we got Grandpa G uh, Guile. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. He is. Yeah, he is a that's... Super Bowl winner. Um. So, uh, so yeah, ooh. I, I, I won't, I wouldn't, I kind of adopt the policy of not questioning Horny because mm -hmm. he, he might make decisions that don't work for me, with as I said the one werewolf, but you know he makes it work. Pretty three nil. Who was the other three three winner? Uh, like a, AKG with a four or physics benders. Physics, physics benders. What else? What else team? Which you know you expect. That's what you expected from. But hey, he's, he's five, got oh. five catcher. This, this guy right here. Sneaky, sneaky. He's also doing the exact same thing. If you notice, he's playing for the fact that he's got a low TV with the um, the one reroll. Yep. So he can sneak in those free well, rerolls. Hey, when you've got an IG5 capture, do you really need rerolls? Well, Looks yeah, like well, you only got one spin game in and won it. I mean, it's... Yeah, he's, he's paid a price. He's lost a couple of linemen. But he's got two two level two ward answers with... You know, he's got tackle, tackle he's got strip ball, he's got a block catcher, and he's got an IG5 catcher. He's building out well. Yeah. I expect good things from this team. Oh, yeah, you too. And he's also he's also a really good coach. Yeah, well, he just won a 3-1 three, a three there, so, you know, he knows what he's playing. For. All right. Let's talk about the guys he was playing against, because the this is... Penitentiary? It's an incredibly hard team to pronounce. <laughs> Pokeshaw. And I want to get it out, out, out of the way. Porkashaw Penitentiaries. There we go. Good job. Kudos. Uh, only one level up so far, and it's a kickoff return thrower. That's, I like that. You know, with, with the low movement on human throws, that's not a bad decision. Yeah. No, I can definitely I can definitely go with that. He's also got some SPP on uh, his blitzers, which is good. So we can start getting some he, development on him. He's lost a capture along the way, I think. Yeah, that's what it looks yeah. like. But he's still got Cyrus the Virus, which I expect big things from, because, you know, I love Connor, so if you call the guy <laughs> Cyrus the Virus, you're, you're, I'm instantly in your camp, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Is that a vanity pass from a lineman, the one SPP? I'm going to assume <laughs> so. Why not? All right. Dude, another another tough one. I, I love how these, these players are going for the, um, you know, these, these names. Saskatoon Shiners. You know, the double P's and the double S's. You know that you know what this team this is, don't you? This is the RG three rat over. With Jerry the Rat oh Oh wait, hold on. Jerry got a touchdown in this first game. He did, but his first first seasonal game, he got his he got his touchdown. On his debut, oh man. So what do you what do you think? I know you're not a rat over fan. Hey, this you isn't a, this isn't a rat ogre by any any definition of the standard rat ogre. <laughs> you know, I, I won't apply my hatred of rat ogres to this team. Because this is not a bashing rat ogre. This isn't a rat ogre you're taking for strength. He's still using the, um, the storm vermin to do damage. <laughs> As you can tell from Mickey Mouse picking up two casualties there. Following um, in uh, huge Jackman's footsteps. Yeah, he wants he wants the touchdowns on the big guy. So I will take everything I've said about rat ogres and not apply them to this team because he's he's got a touchdown rat ogre, which is the stupidest, most crazy thing I've ever heard in my entire life. But he's working it. I like the wrestle gutter runners too, keep them alive. I'm just gonna let you know here. Five five matches he scored a touchdown and three casualties on the right over, so that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, we may see the equivalent of Huge Jackman coming up in, in Rat He's form. got some time to go, but Jerry looks promising. Yeah, I have I have all the faith in the world for Jerry. He's also got two wrestle gutter runners, which is a great start for taking the ball off people. 
Yeah, he also. I mean, is it a rat ogre running at you wasn't but a fairly decent one taking the ball off you. He also tied that uh, really beastly uh, uh, elf team, the Grimmest Elves, if you want to go take a look the at them next. The Grimmest Elves with mighty How blow, they have movement, strength. TBR? Because they have a movement has... and a strength lineman and a mighty blow blitzer. Damn. That and is... An accurate thrower. Uh... Hey, it's hey, a mean team. Malik Wander just walked into a store and, and the guy went, what would you like on your team? And he went, well... <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a Mighty Bull Blitzer? Yeah, you can have that. Can I take a Strength Lineman? Yeah, why not? Throw it in there. You know, he just went for the... He just ran the ball. And I expect great things from this team as well, but I think his biggest concern is he's already bloating on TV mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in quite a fresh in quite a fresh division. Look at the other TVs there, yeah? There's only really Beyond the Beast who we're going to take a look at momentarily. We have Brilliant Man and a, a lot of TV themselves. Everyone else is kind of much lower. But if he gives up a wizard in a few games, he's still got the agi to make up for it. Yeah. Same time. That way lies madness. But it's a high team, so they're going to blow. Yeah, yeah, they're going to blow. All the teams, I think, are going to blow in our division. Speaking of... Happen a little bit. Holy, holy start of Batman. <laughs> Caldor Ditka's Beyond the Beef is... I don't know how in... How in what five... What has been five games they've got what? this much SPP. They've got a guard mummy, a movement mummy, a piling on mighty blow white. What is this? A strength white, a movement guard ghoul. What is this? Another guard ghoul. Four one zero. This is a gross team. Yeah. Three guard early on, strength white, piling. This is disgusting. I was jealous for a while, but now that I've seen so much stats, I'm just gonna assume it's just gonna happen. That everyone's just gonna oh. get stat ups. Stat ups for I everyone. I will say this: Caldor having a uh, undead team with musical names. Tupacalypse Shakur. <laughs> Make use of it. Thank me later. Oh man. Movement mummy. I like that. Yeah. Scary they're, team. Um, they're good, man. I like it. Scary it's team. Scary. Double guard on duels plus a movement on one of them is ridiculous. On They're gonna go out big. of context of the rest of the team. In context of the rest of the team, what a hell, man! <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we? Where are we up to? Battle for Dream Island. I don't remember oh. seeing this one last last time, so I'm assuming it's yeah. It's I would say fairly vanilla, but he's got two goblins stuck in there for for fun. <laughs> triple black orc, triple blitzer, yep. double goblin build. It's an unusual one. Hey. Goblins could be fun. That's all that matters. Hey, goblins are fun. Unfortunately, the team comp didn't really work for him as the crazy ravens took a 1 0. Yeah. Um, Nuffle is our god and he hates him. And it seems like he certainly hated one of the alignment as we've got to miss this game already. Uh, and no level ups, unfortunately, for that team. And despite the win, 20k gold. Uh, yeah. We've had, we've had some rough wins for people. Well, I think he kind of brought it on himself. I mean, he already said, Nuffles are God, and he hates us, so you kind of poke the bear. <laughs> so, basically, what you're saying is he's not going to get an apple next week, either? <laughs> I mean, I didn't make your name or your uh, your description, but I wouldn't have gone with that. Emperor <laughs> Canadian, you're a swell fellow of coach hockey. Uh, Ooh, a wait a second here. here. Who have basically got a similar build. Uh, uh, exactly the, the same, with a missing lineman. But the lineman here has minus movement rather than just the straight miss next game. Yeah, um, but other than that, exactly the same as... Uh, hey, they grabbed an extra 10k gold from their uh, their draw. That's nice. You got that that's going amazing. for you, and that's and that's nice. Not really that nice. No, minus I know. On lineman, that's, that's painful. It is. Contact legit ink. Um, I actually spoke to this coach in one of the other Twitch one of the other Blood Bowl Twitch chats. And, I, and he was like, I'm, he actually apologized because apparently he didn't steal Julius Caesar. It was suggested to him by one of his street, one of his streams viewers. Nah. Um, and I was like, dude, you just, you got to accept at this point he's cursed. He's not going to hurt anyone. You've, you took the name, you got to take the man. That's just how it runs. But he's got a strength lineman, which I actually hate. It actually makes me just see. And I'm going to tell you that? why. Because he's, he's costs as much as two normal linemen. Why are you giving your opponent 50k TV for a dude that's going to die horribly as soon as, as 
someone looks at him in a spiteful way. <laughs> at the same time, you know, he's got a really nice set of gut runners coming through. Already got a reg gu rod guy, already got a blodge guy, and he's got a big hand guy, so, you know, he's he's set up nicely as far as his gut runners are going. I'm not sure about the two throws, that's, that's a bit whatever. Um, I personally think one throw on a, on a scaven team is, is more than enough. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Because um, again, you're giving another 20k TV away. Yeah, for, yeah. For I just, I just don't think you're allowed to spit in Knuckles' face and not take the strength up. No, you take the strength up, then you sack him. <laughs> the loopholes. The loopholes. <laughs> the knuckle loopholes. Actually, no, because you rolled a double. You take guard. Ooh, double guard. Yeah. You take in guard. Guard is also super helpful, especially because then you can make those blocks Admit, count. That makes you what an 80k TV lineman. But it doesn't make you a 100k TV line. Yeah. Alright, who did we miss? Uh, Lynch's Boneheads. Lynch's Boneheads, yeah. Oh, they're sorry. The ones got. They took a, they took a kick to the teeth here from... Uh, Is this the team... Who's the guy going on ghoul deaths? There's somebody trying to get some better. That's, that's, that's Leech. Yeah. He's got a miss next game, uh, ghoul there. <laughs> Mighty blow ghoul. Mighty Blow Ghoul's kind of interesting. Yeah, um, Mighty Blow White, and then Mummies both have guard. Not a bad, not a bad team. A bashy team. Unfortunately for him, he took his first game against Cricket, who, like we said earlier, is a Super Bowl winner, so he knows his... Um, you know, he's got beans, man. Yeah, yeah, he knows, he, knows what he's, he knows what he's doing, fortunately for him. And he showed it. Um, and I think that's... Glorious Decapitator. Yeah, Glorious, Glorious Decapitator. Decapitator. The pink Chaos Icon. Um, no, yellow. No, pink team. No, they're, they're a yellow team, but they definitely got a pink background there on the. For you, not for me. Anyway. <laughs> pretty, pretty base, but starting out with a claw beastman. Yeah, smart, smart in a very I, bashy league. I don't know if you go for claw or if you go for mighty blow. Mm, who do they play next? That's the Math question. Mathematically, usually mighty blow gives you more casualties, except in the case where you're playing too many devs who are. What do they do? Orc? Orc? What else? Yeah, what you else? Oh, think. yeah. Oh, Mighty no, Blow Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow every day. Yeah. I, I really kind of feel like that was that was a mistaken pick, personally. I would always go for Mighty Blow first on Beastman because you get... Statistically, Mighty Blow gives you more casualties because it doesn't just affect the armor, it affects the injury, too. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty vanilla. Three team rerolls. He got his apothecary down, so that's, that's awesome. He hasn't got a bench. He has got a bench as well, which is yeah. Yeah, super good for him. So. That's where the 1240 comes from. Yeah, he's in a nice spot. He just needs some actual level-ups. Yeah. I don't think, personally, that getting the claw was the way to do it. Agreed. Agreed. Well, I guess we will see what happens. I'm a bit it's... jealous that his first outing, he's get, he gets to build a bench. It took me all season to get any bench. <laughs> <laughs> womp, yeah, womp, you, womp. Didn't you pick a bit of a crazy any comp? Anyway, looking at it... I did. Uh, AKG, uh, the, the, the touchdown palooza team uh, from last week, from this week, uh, are, are playing the Saskatoon Shiners, so we'll find out if Jerry can get that, that touchdown he needs to level up, <laughs> or apparently. I have uh, faith. I, I want it to happen, man. I, I reckon he's going to get doubles for, like, but, uh, extra really arms. well-behaved rat ogre. Also, I just really want to see a rat ogre with extra arms. Oh, my goodness. That actually would kind of look cool. And big hand. And big hand. Games. Yeah. Oh. oh my goodness, that'd be ridiculous. Who do you think's gonna win, dude? Do you think uh, AKG's gonna pull the W? I mean, um, how can you not after that commanding first game? Yeah, they yeah. they came and they sent a message. I mean, Nose Dive is is a pretty awesome coach in that he complains bitterly about every dice roll ever. So, you know, let's. I'm sure he'll have something to complain about following the AKG match. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, um, I think he knows uh, I love him though. He knows I love him. Glorious decapitators. I want to see them beat up some elves because you know elves are there to beat up. But I'm, I would give that to three devs. Yeah, simply I'm... because they they're an elf team. Also, Cric <laughs> also Claw's not going to help them in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's basically dead dead TV. Um, Claw's not going to help them, and it's going to be really hard to take down those more dancers with uh, no, no tackle. block, no tackle. Yeah, nothing, nothing going. The, the war dancers are going to run circles around to be fair. I want to see who Necronomics are playing. Uh, this this one I think is going to be interesting right here. We got Physics Benders against the Grimmest Elves. Um, he purposely is keeping his t TV low to get those extra rerolls, and that's exactly what Grimmest Elves is going to be giving away. It's going to be giving away rerolls and probably a Lightning Bolt uh, Wizard. 
It's gonna be rough. I think it's gonna be rough on uh, the Grimace Delves. I'm gonna have to give that one to uh, the Physics Benders. Yeah, and I'm sorry to battle for Dream Island. Um, you already lost your first game, but I'm gonna have to give that one to Necronomics just because cricket. Yeah. Um, that'll be interesting. I know uh, against the Orcs, having the extra Werewolf would have been nice. That's just true. The claw. I, I think maybe, potentially, it just lets him maintain his blisters on the one guy, and he's going to let his ghoul do the, do the touchdown, and, and he's just going to use... Oh, yeah. He's just going to abuse the claw and try and get that one guy level, I would expect. Yeah, I could totally see that. I could totally uh, totally see that and totally get on board. Um, do you guys have any other picks? Um, let me look here. You know... Not really. I'm excited to see. Is Crazy Ravens and Hockey the two? Yeah, Crazy Ravens and Hockey are the two like matching Dark Elf teams. <laughs> they're playing this week. Nine forty TV each, both missing a player. That's funny. Identical builds. The mirror matchup reckon, of the century. Do you reckon it's going to be a draw so they can continue their their lockstep TVing? <laughs> I would really like to see a draw. <laughs> <laughs> Have them all season just progress pretty much exactly the same. With one team maybe getting slightly more beaten up than the other. That's terrible. You guys are terrible. Alright, you guys ready for going? You like going? bad things happening to Dark Elves, I'm sorry. Hey, they're elves. They deserved it. Alright, let's hop over to Div 1. I don't want to because I've already walked in and, and USS Salako's upset me. Mike, I thought we were friends. Mike! You done You done did me wrong. You done, done did me wrong. wrong. done me wrong. He's got a niggled Saurus out this week, which is upsetting. Block tackle, niggle, that's not good. But it's your only tackle, it's one of your only two tacklers, who, the other tackler is also injured, so... Can you just do me, a, do everyone a favor and take care of your tackle? Well, yeah, do yourself a favor and take care of your tacklers here, Mike. He's got an IG-5 skink. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say, the IG-5 skink's pretty, pretty beastly. Do you reckon we could kill out with fire, and anyone would care? I think everyone would be a little um, happier. Missing tackle's not gonna hurt him too much, missing a source is gonna hurt any wizard team, but he's playing dwarfs, so missing a tackle's not gonna hurt. What yeah, do you think? The source is going to really hurt. He's aiming for with this with Hicks. He's got block break tackle. If it's a normal, I'm thinking normal tackle. Personally, you think? Yeah, because yeah. he, he needs to he needs to consider the fact that both his actual other sources have, you know, one of them's got minus movement, one of them's got a niggle. They long term, that their source you want to replace. I could get another mighty blow. That's what I was thinking as well as mighty he's blow, especially got, going up against your, dwarves. He's going to be your blitzer. So. But look at his team. He's got three, two niggled Saurus now, and the minus movement Saurus. These Saurus are getting battered. All the dodge on the Saurus is. Well, he's got lots of dodge. But they're gonna get battered a little more going up against the, Steven no, uh, the dwarfs. dwarfs. Yeah, that's, that's what's good old Steven and the Dwarfs. I, I love Steven and the Dwarfs. I would take my blow on the level up. Yeah, that's I agree. Good Steven and the Dwarfs got got done wrong. They didn't get done wrong. They got done up by like the Kepa boots from the Pastry Pests. Uh, I actually watched that on Luminous' channel. Mm -hmm. He streamed, he live streamed that, and he was just once and again, as always, running circles around walls with dwarves because you do. Steven the Dwarves has never had a good outing though. Their first season, they had what two deaths on the first two games, even with an Apo. <laughs> Damn. So the Damn. fact that they're here and they're building, he's got yeah, the they're they've, they've got a strength for a long beard. They've got a guard long beard. You know, they've got a couple of runners that are getting really developed. Uh, Troll Slayers are coming along pretty nicely. One Mighty Blow piling on, one turn. Mighty Blow. Couple of Guard Blitzes. Yeah, he's getting that. I like his team. I don't like Death Rollers, but I like his team. Hey, you know what? When there's so much strength in this top division, I think the Death Rollers actually feels mandatory in, in Div relative one. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a pretty beefy. Speaking of Death Rollers and uh, Dwarf teams that are too big, that brings us to our favorite, uh, Alpha Sigma Sigma. <laughs> Alpha Sigma Sigma, also known as hitting the bong real hard. <laughs> also, also every single skill you could possibly ever think of, just everywhere. Did did I get something? Does it does it fit for my player? I don't care. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm even talking about this team. They have everything. Yeah, that's it. That's the long and the short of it. Is King of the Cosmos got got stats, man? He's got stats. How did, how did their uh, first week go? They uh, they lost. They took a one zero against uh, oh, Blackfire, the which Blackfire. is pretty Blackfire. good though. Actually, Blackfire is a tough team. I I watched this match and I uh, I was on the edge of my seat um, at work. It was keeping me awake. It was late at night. I was doing my paper work and it was on the corner, 
and I uh, I was like, man, it was such a close first half, and he almost it would could have been a tie game. Um, there were a couple things he did at the end that I was not a fan of, um, but you know. I gotta say though, he did get a niggled lineman out of the deal, but the big story there coming through, his flip and movement ten catches hit fifty one SPP and got sprint. It's disgusting. Natural one turner, you don't even need to set up push players. Or keeping, keeping this team to one touchdown is impressive by itself. Oh yeah, that's what I'm. I'm totally getting it. He he played a played an amazing game, and I am for some reason can't find them. Maybe I don't want to find them. I don't want to see it. On the second page. Uh, I did. I yeah, didn't want to. I, I didn't want to find it. I don't want to call it, but they diced the hell out of you in your uh, pro promotion series. You so, diced yeah, the hell I'm, out of me. <laughs> no, they really did, dude. And, and I think that's why I kind of don't want to mention it too much, but yeah, they, that's why you don't want to find them. No, I didn't want to find them because I didn't want to see that. I tried really hard Black to kill that piece, the double movement, and now sprint. Blackfire Lois and Duberman are a great team. He is a solid coach. I never felt so outclassed than when I played him last season. Oh, hey, yeah. Bliss, no, he's, he's in, yeah, I was about to <laughs> yeah. say. I get outclassed enough as it is, I don't need to go be playing Sand Dude. Yeah, that's uh, cool. He really puts that mighty blow blitzer to work. Yeah, he does. Um, speaking of players dying, though, Knights who said knee actually did lose a player this week. Oh, let's we just not talk about that game. I, I want to talk about the fact that he didn't apple a guy he should have appled. Now what happened? Uh, well, he okay. A, he had a blodge. Was it blodge? And it was a blodge guard. No. Rodge guard. Yeah, Rodge. Wrestle Rodge dodge. Guard. Wrestle dodge guard. I think on a blocker. Um, that and because he was dead. He was so Oh, hugging. shoot. I did. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, he GFI'd to dead. And I just, uh, I just feel like not Apple and that guy. Because Dodge, Dodge is a fantastic talent to get on a blocker. Especially if you've got Wrestle and Guard. Um, I feel like not Pixel Hug and that. Sorry, not uh, Apple and that. It was just Pixel Huggy as hell. Because, yeah, sure you want to keep your Agi Four Shoe Hands Guard guy alive. And sure you want to keep your Strength Ball Blitzer alive and... You might well, alive, but him that and I is still a valuable piece. Him and I were talking, and he didn't like the build on that blocker, so he was actually kind of okay with it dying. I don't know. What I, was I his reasoning? Feel... I was surprised. I was surprised. He just said, "I'm just gonna let this go." This game upsets me. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get diced. I played poorly. It was my game to lose, and I lost it. That's upsetting to hear, man. Yeah. Uh, you want to take a quick look at your team while you're here? I do. <sighs> What what can we say about all animals being equal in, in the animal farm? Have we got have you got yourself a kill piece yet, or no. are you just like the the toothless chaos coach? Still? We are we are toothless right now. We got two killed, mighty blows. I, I was gonna say you killed a guy, but you didn't. The flaw did the job for yeah. us. Yeah. No, I only injured one, and <laughs> I was gonna get claw on Napoleon, but the movement. Yeah, I understand. I understand that a lot, to be honest. Um, uh, but yeah, movement. In Mighty Blow is is really nice, and I, I personally would have taken that myself. I'm not so sure you're the one that the... suggested it to me. Yeah, totally, dude. Uh, I I'm I'm behind that as hell. Uh, and, you know, run? Money where my mouth is, dude. I'm not sure on the jump up. Uh, that was Gengar's suggestion, and you know what? It's paid off for me. I really? can see that. He, your your he agility gets down, he gets right back up. Yeah, agility three, especially if you can get piling on claw piling on on him. Strength yeah, five, claw piling on. That's hang a beast. On. Let's just let's just talk about how far. You know, he's level four now, so claw piling on mighty blow is legend rank. I don't that's care. 100, that's one hundred and seventy-six go, SPP. I think it's gonna go piling on, or sorry, mighty blow piling on, and then if possible. Claw. Yeah, I was gonna say even just mighty blow piling on. I think that would be the route you'd have to take on him. To be honest. Yeah, you need um, piling on to generate the SPP or mighty blow, and then piling on is gonna generate more SPP. But just yeah, having but... a strength five that gets right back up, and I usually couple him with a guard mm -hmm. one. That's that's something stuff. I love the base run with with Davin tackle. That's a super smart move. That um, was my favorite pickup. That one and the dirty player who got sent off in the first foul. Yep, that was beautiful. <laughs> Always the way. Two fouls that game. I'm like, I'm gonna foul more this season. I have a bench. I have dirty player. Both doubles. Jk. Jk. But what we're looking at here, I'm gonna get rid of Squealer. My only bounty player from last season. As soon as Boxer's ready to go. Yeah, you set a Boxer to be the replacement. Yeah, to be fair, Boxer is a much better player. Yeah, than, yeah, um, with Dodge. With Blodge? No, nope, Blodge, off, yeah. yeah. So, as soon as I can, Squealer's going away. 
And if you look at it, me and Kool Aid are playing next week, and we have almost identical teams. Oh, let's go take a look at Kool Aid. He's, he's got more developed kill pieces. I've got a str plus strength. Yeah, you gotta watch out for his his one guy though. <laughs> Weeby, one, Weeby. He's got he's got Wee Boy. It's not it's not in my mind. It's not Wee Bear that I'm scared of in this team. It's Mar Marlo Smashfield. Marlo oh. Smashfield, you pull a mighty blow guy. That's true. It, well. Marlo Smashfield scares me because I want to keep my strength five alive, but the thing to note here is I'm going to be buying a wizard for this. He gets a little <laughs> TV increase. I'm buying a wizard for this. That's true. I mean, he's got a nice team. Agility four, two, uh, you know, uh, two heads. Yeah. Stopping Bodies. I have no tackle. Stopping Bodies can be real hard. I got diving tackle though. But to fair, he doesn't have dodge. Yeah, he doesn't have dodge. So you don't need tackle. I'm Bodie. He's good. He's got Monk who has dodge. Yeah. Yes. I I don't know. It's a really we both have a dirty player. We both got the diving tackle. We both. I got feel like both blitzer. both teams are about three level ups from becoming horrible. You yep. know, three level ups on just about any three players, and they'll become ridiculous. To me. I've not been farming SPP very well, but I think it's gonna. I think getting it out of the way early for the both of us is good, because then we can both go on to get Killy. <laughs> Without having to worry about being killed by the other Achilles, yeah, that, that works yeah. for me. I have um, so much respect for Kool-Aid. We mentioned them earlier, let's take a quick look at Pastry Pests. Uh, Luminous' team. He has, he did lose Gundy Cake to a, I believe it's a miss next game, it's not a big deal. It's yeah. whatever. Not a, Just a line mat. Chopper Chipmunk and oh, Lemming Drop are both horrific little monsters. Um, I love that his Storm Vermin are getting really developed as well because obviously he didn't lose a Storm Vermin in the in the playoffs. This um, is... So I'm real happy for him that Storm Vermin are coming back in there. Yeah, strength four to tackle and then claw mighty blow is nice. Lemming Drop, I still think, is the scariest player on their team. Horns, two wrestled, heads, wrestled, wrestled, balls, wrestled, yeah. Two heads. Yeah, he, it's, his scenario is basically you have the ball, yeah, okay, you had the ball. I, I have a cage, oh well. I had That's a nice. That's nice. <laughs> it's a it's a dangerous team, and I like uh, and he takes it off hard him and block lineman. He takes it off him, and then you know Chocolate Chipmunk brings it in and goes, "Yep." And now I'm gonna go score. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's also got two heads, you know. And, uh, it's just horrible. Yeah, he took a nice little heads. win, two one against Steven, and doesn't look like, besides the one miss next game, no, not not really damaged for it. He's got a bench as well. I like the fact he's actually ramp he's actually caring about TV blow as well. He's picked up the, the leader on the thrower, um, and cut down a team reroll, which is super good. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we were talking about that earlier for other teams where we're talking about you know saving money with leader and stuff, and that's that's nice. Practice what you preach, though. All right. Um, let's let's look at uh, teriyaki sauce. He actually just played about an hour ago, um, and he killed a rat ogre. I have reports. Ooh, ooh. He he did he did did done rats off two years rat right ogre. So finally, and I've been saying it for well, how many previews now, Gamba? Get rid of the rat right ogre. Sukari did him did him a, a solid and did it for him. Damn. Well, it's a nice team though. This is a really strong lizard team. Apart from the complete lack of tackle, apart from one dude, it's a really nice team. Yeah, what I mean, all the source is getting dodge. Just keep him standing. No, no, I, I pick it too, but that's you two there, say, and then look at the other team. Rolling all those bubbles, got down the yeah. It really doesn't matter. If you look at all the stats, I'm just over it. I just I just think now everyone has access to everything somehow. <laughs> yeah, everyone's that's... just got full access, and it's just like build... It's like play pick, pick, build your team job. Pretty much. It's it's, well, yeah, it's let's... fantasy, fantasy football. Let's <laughs> take a look at Rats Off to you with a newly trimmed TV. Um, and yeah, there he is. There's no Rat over there, dude. Thank the Lord. Oh. Nothing. I've been saying it to you for, for literally months, my friend. Somebody had to do it for him. Well, I, I'm glad it happened. This is a, uh, uh, he's got low TV up here with a bunch of big teams. Well, he does now because he's just, uh, you know, lost a massive I sink. was going to say, yeah, um, he just lost a huge uh, sink I TV. love, I love one of his players, though. Gary Friendly. With us. <laughs> both dirty player and sneaky kid. There is nothing friendly about that player. <laughs> Which is why yeah. it's such a brilliant name. I gotta look at the stats. He's gotta be racking up something here. Four injuries. I like it. I like it. I like it. 
Well, that just means he picks up, uh, he's got to pick up another gutter runner and, uh, start playing real hard yeah, agility. Yeah, his gutters have always been behind, dude. His, his gutter runners have always been behind the curve. That's, that's kind of fine, though, now, because, in my opinion, an agi team with low TV value is going to give him more of an edge, because he's going to make way more use of the, the, the wizard. Um, yeah, they could. They have the they have the potential to run the table if they if the, if the coach knuckles down and kind of focuses on those gut run developments and the storm vermin developments. And the thing is, these storm vermins are so far behind simply because he was using his, his route. He's relying on his temple route. Mm -hmm. um, so he needs to get the storm vermin developed in, and he needs to bring the gut runners in. And he could be a really you know he could be a threat just because of the amount of inducements. Yeah, yeah he's gonna be relying a lot on For the him. love of everybody, don't induce the rat logo. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop dancing around and talk about the match of this league for the week? Yeah, well, we, I was saving it to last. All right, well, we'll so. pull off of it then. Let's talk so about somebody still like. Got, uh... you know, still got tiny bubbles and yet your pie. To talk about. All right, let's go. Oh, tiny, tiny bubbles. Hate, hate tiny bubbles. I mean, Trunkhead's a great guy. Little bubbles. Hate tiny bubbles. Oh, dude, I see this why. Team, <laughs> Team bashed the hell out of me last season. Yeah, it makes they sense. They niggled my first my mino. Movement I, I, eight, I just... strength four, dodge, block. Damn. Yeah, that, Bud, Bud Light is anything but light. <laughs> the only time Bud Light packs a punch. Yeah, it is the Blood Bowl. <laughs> Mighty Blow Witch Elf. I love it. That's fantastic. But yeah, he's got a nice team. I mean, he's got a niggle blitzer with with Lodge. Lodge kind of helps you get around the niggle a little bit, but eventually two more tackles are going to truck up to you and kill you. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and you've got to be aware of that and maybe look towards the place. You, you build up some... You've got some cash there, you can afford to maybe look into that soon. Um, three guard linemen. Can we talk about that for a second? No, that's stupid. Bro. Um, bro. But, but sack the assassin as well, dude. Why have you spent... The why assassin's spend, new, too. Why did you pick that why, up? Why is he new? Why are you spending 90k TV on a goddamn knife-slinging idiot? Because he looks cool. Assassin's are terrible. He just looks cool, though. Look how cool he yeah, looks. But they're, but they're terrible. Yeah, but he looks cool. He does look kind of badass. <laughs> yeah, look how cool he looks, especially with the color scheme being different than everyone else. He looks badass. He might be like the cheerleader. He is terrible, though. The yeah. assassin's are bad. Yeah, but look how cool he looks. Yeah. If you look at like the whole team, you're like, oh man, look at that assassin. He's really cool. The assassin is the least of your warriors on this team. It is a scary team. Yeah. Speaking of scary teams... Yeti the party in Soul of Dragonfire. My god. And it's another one of those kind of rags to riches. He came up from G-Man 2, and he's already won his first game, so, sorry, uh, Rel 2, so he's proven, he's proven he belongs here. Oh, he beat... But he's also got a movement 8 Agi 4 runner, which is just... With some large sidestep? Yeah. <laughs> he, is, he, he is gonna get bountied at some point. I did not he know won. he won. He was really upset. I was talking to him about the match and he was like because when we were talking about it, I was like, listen I have to pull Mike's self out because we had a late entry and it was it was Mike and I was like, he actually earned to be in Div 1 and I obviously don't belong here, so I will not be playing. And he so was like he supposed to be playing you? Yeah. We were going to okay. play tonight was when we were going to play. Um, oh. But this was a couple of days ago, and I was like, well, would you mind letting him in so he could get his first game in? This is the division he's supposed to be in. Um, and he was like, yeah, and he was sending me, like, like hate messages. He was like, damn you! Well, I, he won 2-0! I didn't know, but he did. So, kudos. Why are you upset about winning 2 -0? I mean, maybe he just didn't like playing Lizards. But, I think that was what it was. I think he also had a really rough time. got a goddamn Movement 8 Agility 4 Blodge Step runner, so, frankly, just man up and take it, dude. Oh, damn. <laughs> Damn. You deserve everything that comes your way, dude. <laughs> Damn. I, I'm, I'm fighting talking because this is a, this is a nice team. It's not quite as killy as Neckbeards, and we'll go look at Neckbeards now to prove how killy yet yeah, Norse can be. Because my god, our fat people here is racking up a tally. What did he get? Nine or something like that? This? Uh, he's in inflicted 68 injuries. He is gonna level. Well, and I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm gonna say this in a different way: 68 injuries in 17 matches. That's that ridiculous. Kind of that's, that can't gross. be right. Is, oh, is it 20 casualties? No, 20 casualties, 68 injuries. Ah, I see. So injuries is everything. Is, is, is broken armor, I suppose. So yeah, 20 casualties and 2 kills in 17 matches. He's got over one, seri you know, one serious injury per match. This guy's a beast. That's all you have to say. That's all you can say is he's a beast. 
Walking back on the bounty board away from you get killed. However, speaking of the bounty board, after the 2-2 the, the draw against Handsome Jacks, the most the biggest single bounty in the entirety of, of Real G Man history has been played. What is it? Huge Jackman. Huge Jackman. I'm pulling up the team right now to look at Huge Jackman, but what's the bounty? It's basically three bucks on Steam if or you retire him, it's 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 a it's a free game. If you kill him dead, you get yourself a handmade shift around the world diorama. Damn. Well, you know, I know Gengar's done dioramas, but this one's got an ogre on it, so it's it's clearly the most expensive. Because game workshop minis, not cheap. No, <laughs> definitely not. Definitely that. Huge it. Jackman, the. Touchdown scoring. I'm just looking at him. Touchdown scoring, piling on. Let's just look at his statistics. This this player is a hundred. He is. Oh my he isn't god. Just he isn't just the man. He is the team. <laughs> I am the team. Yeah. I, I, I one kill. Up there. One kill. Twenty-two casualties. One touchdown. Sixteen kills. Eighty-nine armor breaks. Out of 168 successful blocks, you know what? Be fat the, people hate on injury while having is, time to score. He's the big one. 55 blocks sustained, eight injuries sustained, but no casualties. Not once has he taken anything above a stun or a kill. Man, if he gets pro, I want to see him with pro. I, I think with Pro, he'd be, he'd be perfect. There's yeah. not a whole lot of human coaches in, but I guarantee you if uh, he hung up his uh, his team, the, the the what human coaches we have would be freaking out to get him. I don't think he'd sell him. I think I think there's certain players are just such become the temple of the team at the point where I don't think you'd, you'd, I think you'd retire them with that player intact, with that team, that team roster as intact as... As you can say, the handsome jack because they're not very intact. Either. No, no. This is this is a busted ass team, and it, it. You know what? On the commentary, we actually did this as the as the rel featured match of the week, and my god, what a match! It, it was, was such a brilliant match. It was so much fun to commentate. Um, but, rage inducing. Yeah. I. I don't know. It, I, I didn't understand why Neckbeard was so Neckbeard was so salty, and then I watched it. Have you oh, seen the, the, the specific video, the tribute video I made to you? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was expecting it to be set to Enrique Iglesias, but... I found... I, I was originally going to go for Enrique, and then I found a better one. <laughs> I, Enrique Iglesias this... is a lot of slow-mo. Yeah. I would have to do slow-mo and effects and things, but... No, I mean, there's one thing I wanted to say is, on the coverage to that match, um, Vapor Gecko's taking some time out to actually write his thoughts down for this team and what he's planning to come and where he's planning to spend his money and things. It's actually quite an interesting read to see that. Obviously, because we were talking about it from, from the caster's perspective, talking about, you know, what this team does. Because mm -hmm. they're busted. They, they're really broken. But there's actually a really interesting read if you've got the time to, to go on the, on the Reddit again. He's put down his thoughts for why he wants to, what he's going to buy next and, and the reasons why he's going to do it and stuff. And, and I really you like know, to, to read that from a thought perspective. I think we need to mention, before we get off Hampton Jack, we're always on Huge Jackman. But Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, on any other team would be a star player. <laughs> but is he literally is dwarfed nice. by Huge Jackman. He is actually he Jack Nicholson, I believe, got a yeah, he's worth an honorable mention indeed. A G four, tackle, guard, mighty blow. Yeah, piling on and he's, a, he's just a monstrosity. Yeah. Beast. Alright, what's but he's um, not huge Jackman? No. Let's take a look at uh the week to come and let's have some picks. Um, Blackfire loyalist in a handsome jacks. I, I just want Blackfire loyalist. I want the pain to stop for handsome jacks for a while. This is a team that are perpetually trying to catch their breath. Um, <laughs> That's really, so I mean, true. Don't get me wrong. Huge Jackman is amazing, and and he's he's becoming the hero of of Narell, and everyone knows him, and everyone loves him. But the team itself are never are just they're in an almost unrecoverable position. Their casualties amount up. Their cash flow is dying off. They need a break, and they aren't going to get it in this division. Blackfire Loyalist isn't the place to get it either because that mighty blow, high elf, is going to hunt everyone. Unless yeah. Huge Jackman murders him. 
Well, I can always imagine you, Jack, and, uh, you know, Brick tackling out of a... That's all I'm seeing. A, uh, all I see him breaking out of a break, to just break tackling out of a tackle zone, knocking him down, and then piling on, and just. And have you seen the huge Jackman? You, you I played him. Animation. I yeah, played him. I've of seen it. Piling on animation is beautiful. It literally buries them under a mountain of gold. Yeah. I I gotta give it to Blackfire Loyalist, but I think it'll come down to no, that's, how well. No, that's that's the pick. I mean, armor. no one can no one can the disagree one with you. I'm excited about is Neckbeards versus Tiny Bubbles. Because they're going to murder each other? They've played each other before. They're both super murdery. It's just going to be a bloodbath. Who have you got? Oh, you've got you've got. Uh, I've, got I've got the near mirror matchup of uh, Kool Aid. Who... That, that I think should be an interesting one. We've also got the um, Provocative Protagonist versus Alpha Sigma Sigma, which is just, a, 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 again, a Clash of the Titans. Uh, just That's a grudge match if I, ever, if I ever saw one, too. Is it really? Oh, yeah. That's a coach grudge match. They've All they've the they've, they've played each other every season because they've always been in Division One together. It's it's a grudge match. I think this is a division where we're gonna have to wait to see how the games play out to pick a. Uh, oh yeah, a a match winner. I still think Luminous is just such a solid coach. He's always gonna be on the table. Mm -hmm. um, where is he? Start? Who's he got here? He's uh, uh, playing Pets Staircase. Versus... Yeah, I'm gonna give sorry Staircase, but I'm giving that to Luminous. Agreed. Luminous is such a good coach. He's got. Such great developed team right now and his team are really coming into you know a couple more level ups and as I said it's it's the same as the Chaos Coaches maybe a couple more level ups on those Storm Vermin and he's hit critical mass mm -hmm. uh, and there's Jackie doing about it um, Yeti the Party are going to take Rats off without much I mean yeah Rats off are going to get a hell of a lot of inducements uh, actually no yeah they're going to get a few they're going to get some a couple, of, a couple of hundred I was going to uh, say Wizard but I just think, yeah, Solo Dragonfire is such a good coach, such a strong team. There's no real inducements that are gonna that are gonna come up against that so for me. So, yeah, I think I think Tiny Bubbles is, is is the game. It's the that. game to watch this one. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited. It's a good week though. That there's a lot of big games. Oh yeah, all of them. All of them are good weeks. Um... Yeah, the Rel I, I Rel One is actually. It feels like the G Man One at this point. They've hit that point where it's like. There's very few, but you know, there's very few safe matchups anymore. There's very few coaches that you're looking at going, ah, this will be a decent one. I think Rel's a division that has the chance for any one team to implode at any moment. Oh no, Rel. There's Rel, so much kill. <laughs> Rel is 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 uh the Thunderdome from uh, the Road Warrior Three. That's that's <laughs> that's what the Rel is. There's a giant man with another man on his back, and you come in, and he's like, "All right, welcome to Div One, bitch," and you're like, "Fuck." All right, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and you're looking at him, and he's hit, and you look, you, your hands out for the lube, and he's like, no, no, no lube. <laughs> it's three <laughs> men are entering, and only two of them are leaving, and one of one is not you. It's the guy with the <laughs> other guy on his back that's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> four, four men are entering, two are leaving, and it's the, it's the guy, it's the guy carrying the other guy that'll leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even even the Rel's elves are bashy. You have to be, you have to be in Div yeah. One. I think it's interesting though to see the the environment that these teams grow up in and how the teams, even the elf team or teams over here, are fairly differently developed than the elf teams over in the G Man because they have to be. They have to be a different this, mindset. This is the only division that I took. Okay, I took a fresh roll dwarfs in my mind, being like, this is at, at the time the bashiest, most durable team I can take out of the box, and I still could not outbash some of the elves. <laughs> because they all had guard, they all had mighty blow, and you're like, there's nothing you can do. Rest in peace, Death Destroy House. Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, rip. Um, but and Tortoro. Tortoro, the, the, the Oh no, I'm putting him up at the end of the season. Someone's got to buy him. Okay, cool. Totoro is a is a beast, and also uh, Punch and Paul. He needs to go up in case someone needs him because those are two players that need to in keep playing. In before Alpha Sigma Sigma picks him up. <laughs> I think I need board skills. He yeah. doesn't have bro in the name. He's not allowed. Yeah, he's not. Um, he's not gonna pick him up. I'm hoping. I'm hoping maybe one of the lower level dwarf teams. Uh, maybe. Well, Stefan might want the lineman, but. Stephen and the Dwarf's not allowed. He's not. He's not a Stephen Dwarf character. Oh, uh, that's right. You've, you've, you know what? As much as you want these players, you've got to stick to name and conventions. And a lot of our coaches are pretty solid about the name and conventions. That's, and I love that's that. true. That's true. All right. Stick well. to your guns, folks. 
let's get a call it for this one. Check us on the next video, which is going to be we're doing, uh, and that's going to be uh, the newbie league the and the big O. o. Yeah. Yeah. All Very right. Exciting. See you guys on the flippity flop. Stay classy, guys. Playing ten. <laughs> you need catchphrases. That was terrible. I, I don't have any catchphrases. I'm not even. I'm not even stopping the recording. Me. That's as bad. I'm gonna let people hear all this. <laughs> let it go. Just let it go. Let's, no. You know what? Let's have any dignity anymore. For a bit. I don't have any dignity anymore. Let it go. All right. I won the wooden spoon this go, year. Go for, go for stay peppercorn, man. Hey, I, actually, <laughs> stay peppercorn. Stay saucy. We need stay to saucy. stay yeah, saucy. Stay saucy. Hey, we got hey. one. Hey. <laughs> I'm cool. All right. Hey, that's and that's that's good. All right.